But many lives were saved thanks to an early warning. Days in advance, the National Weather Service forecasted the potential for storms, severe and dangerous storms. Angela Henry, dispatch coordinator from Madison County, had the day off, but thought that she would go to work, just in case. Angela thought she'd be there for about half an hour or so. Then Mother Nature did her worst. A tornado just came through, and I think, I think my, my neighbors passed away. Their house is gone. My house is gone. But well, we need some help. We need an ambulance right now. We got the first uh, alert from the National Weather Service about 4.14. And by about 4.36, that's when the calls started coming in. A tornado just formed over the park and heading toward Winterset. Okay. What park, John? Pamel Park. Heading, Pamel Park. Uh, it's heading northeast toward Winterset. Okay, yep, we've got the sirens going, John. Okay, thank you. The 25-year dispatch veteran and her co-worker, Becky Berry, a 28-year dispatch veteran, kept their calm as the calls kept coming. Madison County Sheriff's Office. Hi, this is a tech security. Have a yes. commercial fire. Right. Where? It was pretty, pretty chaotic that day. I can't get to the rest of the neighbors because of downed trees. Okay, okay. All right, well, we've got the fire department. Um, I've got your address, and we've got the fire department checking that area because it was hit. Um, yeah. So, okay, I've got to grab some other lines, Stacy. As all of this was unfolding outside, the folks inside the dispatch center felt the fallout of Mother Nature's wrath. We lost our phones. We lost our uh, computer-aided dispatch. I lost my radio that I was working on. Becky had the sole radio. As Becky works with the first responders on the radio, Angela uses her cell phone to reach the communications company to get the dispatch phone lines back up. Our generator failed that day. 911 calls diverted to nearby counties for a short time. With the computers down, Becky and Angela were taking information the old-fashioned way with pen and paper. I just wanted to come through here and hit a couple of cars and there's a propane tank that's been compromised. Okay, what's the address? We are just east of Wintercrest. Um, there are injuries. Staying level-headed with chaos all around. That's just what we're trained to do. When Angela went in that day, again, she thought it would just be 30 minutes. She was there for a very busy and chaotic eight hours. And Angela and Becky didn't know that their own families were okay until hours later.